Well, seven year hiatus has come to an end this weekend as Minneapolis brings back a summer staple, which is Taste of Minnesota. Fox 9's Rose Schmidt was there today and joins us live. Rose, not a bad way to spend a Sunday. How was the first day? Well, if you're a fan of free festivals and food, this is the event for you. It was last held in Waconia and before that, St. Paul. Now, the downside of today was definitely the long line to get in, but the people we spoke with said it moved quickly. It's the comeback summer for the Taste of Minnesota, the two day event coming in hot. I brought plenty of water, so that, that helps. With a new location and a new energy. But the atmosphere is great. I like the music, the live music, I like the people, you know, the food is great as well. And those are the main highlights from professional wrestlers to bands and a variety of options for even the biggest foodies. Eating. <laughs> courtesy of food trucks. Uh, we listened to a couple of bands. They've been great. Uh, just great to actually be out on Minnesota summer day. Organizers hope the menu options even rival the Minnesota State Fair. They expect more than 100,000 guests over two days. This summer favorite hasn't been held since 2015. I know they hadn't had the taste in a while, so my old roommates and I used to go to that. So we're like, let's go back out and check it out. This is the festival's first time in Minneapolis. City officials see it as an opportunity to bring people back downtown. It's nice to kind of be back in the usual things, especially in Minneapolis, because we haven't really seen a lot kind of going on in the city in, in the same way as it used to be. Yeah, I'm so glad they brought it back. We, we, like I said, we, we don't see a lot of events like this all the time, so it's good that, they, that we bring events like this back. Despite the crowds, people we spoke with say the process getting in and out of Nicolette Mall was smooth and quick. City officials say a robust safety plan is in place, including screening everyone with metal detectors at the two entry points. It's been busy, but it hasn't been shoulder to shoulder. Everybody seems to be polite and cognizant of each other. And some relatively big names for the headliners. Third Eye Blind took the stage tonight, and tomorrow you can watch Big Boy from Outcast. Reporting live in Minneapolis, Rose Schmidt, Fox 9. All right, thanks, Rose.